I'm attempting to be the world's first to drive a tuk-tuk across the Americas from Argentina to Alaska, with the plan to have my adopted Bolivian pup, Patty, accompany me the entire way. This week, that pipe dream fell apart. My visa here in Argentina expires in a week, and I've just found out that Patty can't come with me to our next country, Chile. Her passport wasn't formatted properly by the vet in Bolivia and therefore was deemed invalid. This required her to again receive all the treatments and now must remain in the country for 21 days until they're quote unquote effective. The only option we have is for me to leave the country alone and come back into Argentina, all the while trying to avoid being trapped in Chile. Over the last six months, Patty and I have grown incredibly close, and something that very few people know is that she suffers from deep-rooted trauma caused by her first family. With her also protective nature, I really worry how she'll respond to being apart from me and amongst other complete strangers that I still need to find on the road. Did I mention to get to the border I have to overcome heavy military stops and snow? Nothing's ever easy easy on the three-wheel dream. doing no research and just sending it. Like, what even is that? That's just the bluest lake I've ever seen in my entire life. But apart from that, we got mountains, like snowy mountains on our freaking left. Thinking about issues, just enjoying it. That's that's what it's about. The scenery has changed so significantly. Just. In the last like 30 minutes, thinking about oh, entering Chile, being in Argentina, and then with like the memories of Bolivia coming back about the border crossing and and about the vets that I visited and stuff like that, with the issues still kind of rolling around in my mind. That's some win, man. Oh my goodness, hectic. Um, yeah, and I need to just be like, oh yeah, we're in Argentina still. Like that's still happening and how I'm like picturing oh tomorrow maybe the next day after that I could be in Chile Heidi's still gonna be in Argentina and then I come back to Argentina it's just gonna be a bit wild um, a bit a bit wacky and it's all gonna happen so so fast just hope it'll go smoothly the biggest question mark and issue that I think of when I'm just trying to plan this all out in my head is what happens if they don't let me come back in the afternoon and they make me wait a couple of days because they know that I'm that I'm just border hopping basically is what it's called. Relax, putty. Yeah, shame. Back camera wasn't working. They did a really thorough search through our vehicle. We even got the dog squad in there. Um, I don't know, foreigners that must have a bad rap coming through here with a bit of something, but um yeah, not me, man. <laughs> I'm as straight as it comes. I'm like a 8 p.m. bedtime if I'm not driving a editing type guy. <laughs> so that was sweet. I think she didn't want to open up every like box and everything. I kind of appreciate that. So she's just like, she's got the dog back there rather than checking through all my stuff and then on my way. So now that she was really nice about it too. I think that it's just that level of thoroughness kind of caught me off guard because that was the first time I've done anything more than smile and take pictures of my vehicle. They love you, Patty. <laughs> they love you. While we were driving along what has been described to me as the most beautiful highway in Argentina, I was very much worrying about Patty. This road stretches 204 kilometers from the city of Mendoza right to the border of Chile and has an elevation gain of 2,500 meters. In the tuk-tuk, this mountainous pass would take us four days total to do a visa run and return back. So the plan is to leave Patty a little closer to the border in the hope that we're apart for the least time possible. We're surrounded by it, eh, Patty? When they were trying to give me recommendations of 
where to cross to Chile from. They're like, oh, wherever you cross, there's always going to be, just, you're going to have to cross the mountains. I love that I've crossed the mountains or oh, crossing. We're far from done yet. Name sign with a mountain backdrop. I just had to. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, check that out, Patty. Oh, here we are in Uspushata. That's how long it took for me to figure out what that said. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Mountain backdrop, that is just something, isn't it, Patty? And a nice little Argentinian flag. This is absolutely wild. So I'm leaving that named sign place back there. I've got two people come off the highway and they're walking towards me and they say, hey, Patty. <laughs> I'm like, you know me. I said it in Spanish because I, I don't know. I thought maybe I heard it wrong. Yeah, he's like, you're, you're, you're right, right? And I'm like, no way, this is too cool, man. His dad owns a hostel and we're going to stay the night there. And on top of that as well, it's crazy, but I told them the situation with what's happening with, with I, how I can't pass to Chile um, with the dog and everything and they might be able to look after Paddy for me, that's wild. So here we are, this is just epic hospitality. What a spot man, freaking legendary. So first things first, we've got to introduce Paddy to the other dogs to see if this is like a, a viable option. Hey, Patty. Patty le gusta. Es un bonito. Patty está contenta. Eh, fuimos hostel hace muchos años y ahora somos una hostería. It's like, I'm so glad I went kind of viral on Instagram because we're like getting all these opportunities <laughs> on the travel that are making like just my life so much easier just because of you legends that are following that are just wanting to help us out. So it's incredible, man. Like, look where we are. Like, what a day, what a day. <laughs> just what a coincidence that we've like got this place. This is insane. Check it out, Patty. Patty's a bit nervous on the floor changing. She wasn't keen on going on the tiles. Putty, come. There you go. There you go. Oh, yep, yeah. there we go. How lucky are we, man? Just the hospitality of some of these legends on the road that we meet, it's just incredible. Um, we're gonna get a huge rest in the biggest bed I've slept in for a long time, which is really cool. Um, and call it a day. You got a friend, Putty. We're now leaving this hostel and we're gonna go check out the snow at the top of this mountain. So they were really nice and accommodating us last night and we're gonna stay there tonight as well. I've just packed the bare minimum in the tuk-tuk for us to go check out the snow for a day and then come back and, and rest well tonight again. And we're gonna try to find some snow but also try to find a spot where I can leave Patty um, on the border because they've got four, five, six other dogs at their house. And as much as I hope I'm only gonna be away from Patty for the six to eight hours, the stress is that I don't come back in the same day. I don't wanna just put them in the spot where they feel like they're pressured to do that for me, so. But they're amazing people, and their hospitality was amazing, just for, for us to have dinner together and and plenty of mate this morning as well, so yeah, good vibes. And just check that out. Apparently the snow usually dies off two months ago, um, so it's really lucky that we've come to a point where there's still quite a lot of snow, and they reckon it's only gonna last about three, four days before it's completely gone until win winter next year. So we're really lucky that we're able to just be driving around in the t-shirt. Patty was at, without her jackets, uh, which is quite a sight. And we're gonna go investigate this um, snow, have Patty see snow for the very first time. So hopefully we can get close enough where we can chuck her boots on and she can run around. I'm in mean, this little town of Uspayata, um, pretty hard to pronounce. We're just getting a bit of lunch to take away um, and then we'll hit the road because we've got about two hours of driving to just try to get to this snow. But we don't have chains or anything, so we'll just see how far we can get. Essa, just look at that though. Just the town. Just what, what a time. Man. It's gonna be an epic day. We 
photo. A little bit of fuel before we hit the road. I got the takeaway in the back. Patty's kind of garden. We'll take away pizza. Ew! <laughs> but what a vibe. What a vibe. Uh, compré en Bolivia, estamos en ruta a Ushuaia y después. Um, todo por Ushuaia o te vas a meter por Chile? Un poco Chile y volvé para ruta 7. Uh, volvé para ruta 40. Here it's also 40 cents more or less per liter, which is absolutely insane. Bang for your buck over here in Argentina, loving it. We just hit an empty patch of like no cover from these mountains, and this is some brutal wind we're trying to drive through. The tuk tuk cannot slice through it whatsoever. And as we're gaining like slight altitude as well, it's just hectic. It's a real difficult one. We've got a few few more hundred k's to go today as well to get to the to where we gotta go. People love us though, nonetheless, so it's pretty cool. Back doors down. I don't know if we're more aerodynamic or if we're just a huge parachute. Nigga, this industry bitch is champing about. You know the one that fast one. Wildest dreams of death. Passing a speed sign saying 110 doing 20 kilometers an hour is an absolute laugh. I like kind of feel like if the police came past at this point while well, our tuk tuk is absolutely screaming, they'd be like, nah, what are you doing, mate? What, what are you doing? Gotta let the big boys through. Give respect where it's due. Hey, a few more cars. Who's gonna stop? We made it. Oh, well, we almost made it up the hill, but. We were going like 10 kilometers an hour. I feel sorry for these lads. And one more truck. Yeah, like the trucks aren't going much faster than us, but they're going faster than us, so it is what it is. We have to do it, eh? Hey? Yo! I don't even know what this is. Um, I'm gonna let Tori like cool down. A bit chilly in the shade. I'm gonna let Patty out. But this is like a probably used to be where the road used to go and now it's just kind of abandoned and then the road's like right there break Dali but I want you good this way okay gotta go check it out it's like a an abandoned cave system or something look at that bridge man <laughs> No way, man. No way. How epic. Hucky, stay on the on the side, yeah? Don't go near the cliff, please. That's madness. That's epic. I, I wouldn't dare drive the tuk-tuk along this like abandoned bridge, man. That's wild. Good side, Patty. Good side. Oh. Yeah, right oh, eh? Right oh, there's that. Yeah, you're a bit like, what's what's down there? I don't know, eh, as well. Oh, shit. That's a dark tunnel. That's a very dark tunnel. It smells like there's no air that like comes down from the other section, so we're just gonna leave it be, Patty. I I can see this kind of like a dead end at the very end, or it looks like it's collapsed or something. So, wow, man, the sights, eh? Cheeky little waterfall. Good side, good side, Patty. Yo! Just a bit of an exploration. Yes, sir. Good side, buddy. These mountains, yeah, those ones are so tall, you have to kind of do these ones through the windscreen because I've got a roof. I <laughs> he was loving it. 
Just like, check out this one. I can't have to do one of these to even barely see the top. Absolutely wild. We got passers by that are basically laughing at our vehicle choice to cross these mountains from Argentina to Chile. Um, and to know that I'm gonna have to drive this exact same road in like the crack of dawn, probably gonna have to leave at like 4 a.m. to get through to the border crossing at the very first time that they open to be first in line for me to get through, cross the other side and then cross back to Argentina and get back to Patty as soon as possible. It's, I know it's gonna be a chilly one doing that. I'm glad I get to see all this landscape in the day because we're gonna have to do it in the night. And it's gonna be pretty cold and pretty lonesome. Being so used to having Patty in the back to just, yeah, chuck my arm back there and give pads, get warm, have a smile. But at least, at least we're gonna do what we're gonna do. This town looks pretty epic, man. What a backdrop as well, that's crazy, man. La, la cosa es que necesito cruzar la, la frontera. Tengo una perro y ella vacunada ayer. Y ellos me dijo, ellos no pueden cruzar conmigo. Eh, por ella necesita esperar 21 días. Uh -huh. Y pensé, tal vez, estuve pensando en, en preguntando a alguien en... en el pueblo para dejar agua y comida y voy en la madrugada para cruzar y volver en los mismos días. Ah, no sé. No sé. No, difícil, ¿verdad? Difícil, difícil. Claro, claro, claro. Bueno. Gracias. Chao. Yeah, it's a, when I say David out loud, it's a crazy fucking idea, right? Like what I'm trying to ask. It's just rough. It is gorgeous, though. Yeah, they reckon I got a good chance of finding someone, um, but especially like with that option, I'm a lot closer to Patty. Like, I'll be driving two hours to get to the border and then two hours to get back so that's four hours in itself and if for me to cross to Chile takes about say three hours and three hours to get back that's in a perfect world I'm gonna be gone at least like you know we're talking like 10 hours minimum maybe um, so if I was to leave Patty with someone cl far close to the to the Chilean border it would be better but I don't know, just having a backup so backup option is, is the way to go because I'm currently kind of relying on these guys at that hostel back there to, to look after them, but they haven't given me a solid answer yet because it's such a big ask what I'm trying to trying to say. It's tough, isn't it, Paddy? Ay, Dios mío. Big, big stress lately. Más claro que el transparente y eso lo sabes Se caíste yo tenerte, bebé la clave Tómate pero comerte, mejor me sabe, 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 baby Yo, I cannot even lie, that was the most hectic drone flight out in this wind But I reckon it, it, it was worth it Porque todos son iguales, pero yo no Me rompen el cora, pero yo no No te hacen reír, pero hoy vengo yo Nadie te hace reír and I'm just grateful I can take you all along for the ride. Look at that. Just check that out, man. That's my tuk tuk, baby. That's it, Patty. We made it. We freaking made it, Patty. We are out here, man. We are living it. Living the dream, mate, buddy. Nah, man, I can't even believe that we're seeing these sights. <laughs> I really can't wait to see Paddy's reaction in the start. Come on, buddy. Yahoo! 
Estamos aquí para ti. Hola, hola Pati, hola Pati, ¿te gusta o no te gusta? I'll put your boots on. Let's go boots. Let's go with some boots first. Pati. Alright, Pati's got the boots on. Let's go Pati. Vamos, Pati, vamos. Esa, Pati. <laughs> we lost the boot. We lost the boot. Ay, <laughs> gosh, man. <laughs> And she's like, no, we're back in the tuk tuk. <laughs> Pati, come. Good girl, you're doing great. <laughs> well, they're not that effective. Are they? You're doing good. You're doing so good, yeah? <laughs> Mate, if you're not careful, you're gonna fall through like I just did. Living the dream. We made it to the snow. Paddy's made it to the snow. The dog that I just adopted in a refuge in Bolivia is in the snow. You're doing great. You're doing so good, Paddy. Yes, it's so bonita. Paddy. Paddy. Yes. And we got the tuk tuk just down there. And we're up in the mountains, man. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen snow. This is just epic, man. <laughs> These Tuk Tuk adventures just keep on getting more wild. What the heck? Why are we in the snow with the Tuk Tuk, man? What is going on? What is... Oh, goodness, girl. Nice work. This is some hectic snow, man. We got maybe like... Two foot, there's the other shoe gone. <laughs> well, at least we had a good play because Paddy's called it quits. She's like, no sir, we are not doing this anymore. <laughs> no more, no more snow. We, you did good, you did so good. We had a good time, didn't we? Yeah. She's like, nah. Those shoes didn't do anything, Ryan. My feet are cold and I don't know what's going on. I want to go home. <laughs> Good girl, you're okay. Good girl, it's WM. No more. Yeah, we're off. We had a great time. And it's just getting late afternoon now, so we better get back because we've got a bit of a drive ahead. What a day, what a day. We're kind of dressed up nice. <laughs> and we're in like a pretty rough part of Mendoza. We've had to return to the city because me going and living on the fly has shown me that it's not always for the best. Uh, here's a little bit of what we're looking at. Sheesh, that was a speed bump. Um, bueno, anyway. Me living on the fly, it's not always for the best because I've just found out as I'm like getting closer to the border of Chile that I need a visa for Chile so I've got like seven days left that I, until I need to leave the country and I need to go to the Chilean embassy now to go get my visa kind of sped up um, because it says it takes about that's another speed bump saying it takes about like yeah 10 to 20 days to get it approved and I've only got about seven left in the country um, before I need to leave so I, I've talked to the Argentinian embassy. I can't get my visa extended, so definitely need to get this visa today. We'll see how it goes. We got Patty and the Tuk Tuk chilling. We're at the consulate of Chile. Wish me luck, yeah? Yeah, so no luck, I guess. They can't do anything to accelerate the visa process, so I've just got to wait for it to be manually approved. Internet's saying 10 to 20 days. 
he's saying could be approved tomorrow, but that's highly unlikely. The thing's not about like the approval or not. It's more about by the time it gets approved, how is the weather looking? If there's snow on the mountain or not, and if the the route's cut off, which could leave us in Argentina illegal, which would be just horrendous. All right, let's go try number two to get this Chilean visa. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we're at the petrol station. Um, I'm still trying to get over this stress ball that I have in my chest. The easy part's done. We've got the visa now. We're on our way to the Chilean border. It's gonna take us two days, so we're gonna get halfway tonight and the rest away from where we are now in Mendoza capital um, tomorrow and cross the border tomorrow two border crossings to get into Chile and then to get back in Argentina um, a lot can go wrong so I'm still very stressed while still over trying to overcome the current stress that I got but it is what it is and there we have Patty a bit chilling um, she doesn't play well with all of the dogs because there's like five or six um, out there at the moment. So she's good with like three or four, but they take turns going outside. These legends have also offered to, which is like such a relief, offered to take care of Patty. Um, Patty knows them. Um, so they've had a few days now to get acquainted. Patty's making a bit of noise now. Um, but yeah, they're gonna take care of her. I'm going tomorrow to the border and come back hopefully by midday. Um, and then they're gonna have me for another week. They said they can, they like stay as long as you want. And yeah, like we won't charge you anything cause we just support what you're doing and how the rooms are empty. So stay as long as you need them. It's like people on this trip, man, I can't. They're just, it's so, it's so incredible. What, what a, what a relief that we just met them when we we're just at the, the sign for the town. And then they brought, brought me in or brought Patty and we've already been here two nights and saying they're saying like for us to stay until like next weekend so it's just like it's insane it's insane what a life man